What's up guys, welcome back to LSJ TV and in today's video it is going to be a full day of eating. I'm going to be taking you guys through my meals, showing you how I'm going to hit my macros, showing you my weigh-ins, all that kind of stuff guys. So I'm very excited, let's get on with the video. So, as you guys can see there, that was a weigh-in of 184.2 pounds and as I would regard the start of this cut as probably 188.4 on day one of the summer shredding competition, that would be what I would regard as my starting weight for this cut. So in four days we are already down 4.2 pounds. But bear in mind guys, that's not going to be all fat, that is going to be to be honest the majority water weight just flushing out of my body and then after that the weight loss will start to slow down. But with that said, that is still a good progress, that is still very good progress within the first week. Let's get on with the rest of the video. Okay, so for meal one, what I will be having is two slices of this King's Mill 50-50 bread. I'll show you it on my fitness pal uh, later, but here are the macros as follows. 93 calories per slice, 0.7 grams of fat, 17 grams of carbs, and 2 or 3.7 grams of protein. So what I'm going to do is put that in the toaster, and then I'll have that with two medium eggs, and then there's going to be, I think, 20 or 30 milliliters of skim milk. I'll figure that out now, actually. So there's 31 milliliters, and then I'm going to mix that all together, and I'll show you guys when it's done. Right, okay guys, so here's the finished product. I'm going to be washing that down with a Muscle Food Chocolate Mint Bar, and as well as that, I will have a tall glass of water, because that is what I would definitely recommend when you're on a cut. Drinking as much water as you can, it just flushes all the, po all the negative toxins out of your body, and helps you flush out all that water weight as well. So I'm going to enjoy my breakfast and I'll see you guys at the next meal. Okay guys, so to finish off breakfast I'll have this Muscle Food Mint uh, Protein Bar as you guys can see there. I opened it in a Muscle Food unboxing uh, maybe 2-3 weeks ago now and, and I've been waiting to try it on video. Uh, I've been waiting for my cut as well. So here we go. So there's a slight crunch to it. Which is cool. Okay, so to conclude, if you've ever had after eight, we get them here in the UK. I'm not sure if we get them anywhere else, but basically what they are is they're little thin squares of chocolate. Um, it tastes like that, except you bite them through a chunk, as you can see there, rather than a thin slice. So um, overall, really nice. About 15 grams of protein in this as well. So I'm going to enjoy it. So guys, once I have finished that protein bar, that will bring the calories for breakfast up to 549. 53 grams of carbs, 20 grams of fat, and 35 grams of protein. So overall, that's 549 of the 2,000 and 2,210 calories goal total. Okay, so in a minute, guys, we're going to go to the gym. And just before we do, I'm going to have this rather uh, questionable looking banana. Bananas tend to be around 100 grams. It's not going to be make or break with a 95, 105, whatever. If I did explain that in my... Uh, protein pancake video a couple weeks ago so if you haven't seen that link will be in the description box or just scroll a couple of links below so just for a little bit of energy before we do go to the gym I'm going to eat this banana again I'm going to say it's around about 100 grams and by the way guys check out this lighting dropped a little bit of water weight and so a little bit of definition has come back and sort of the separation in my shoulders and stuff coming through nicely I'm excited to see very very excited to see what I look like in 90 days time and hopefully hopefully all this hard work is going to pay off and I'll win the competition Mm. Let's go to the gym. How's it going guys? Welcome back to LSJ TV for another commentary. Hopefully you're enjoying the video so far. If you are, then let me know by leaving a like or a comment down below and let's get on with today's leg workout. So what I wanted to just explain to you guys, I wanted to take a little bit more time to explain maybe why I haven't been putting up any leg videos the last six weeks or so and that is purely because I haven't been training legs as much and if I have, it's just been isolation work. Purely because I've had a bit of a knee problem. Uh, it's just bad genetics really. My dad has the same thing and his dad had the same thing and I, I assume that his dad did as well so um, basically the problem is is that occasionally you just get a little bit of fluid build up on your knee and any sort of movement any sort of tension on that knee on your kneecap really causes me a great deal of pain and basically what I've been doing is rehabbing myself back into it easing into it as you can see me gradually increasing the weight here from I don't even know what weight it was it's not important numbers weren't important to me on this day but I do know that I built it up to 100 kilos and did three sets on that so I was very happy with that but as you can see um, occasionally throughout I think it might be on this set if I feel a rep didn't go as well as it should have as you can see I do a pause just to kind of almost as a form of self punishment just to discipline myself into using good form driving through those heels and keeping those feet firmly planted on the 
floor. So um, that was it. As you can see here, worked up to 100 kilos and did three sets of eight on that. But I did sort of pyramid sets, but you didn't get to see every single rep. The next exercise was a seated hamstring curl. And I have to apologize for the ridiculous angle, sort of uh, first person gaming mode going on here. But um, yeah, I had no one help to help me film. And so I had to hold the camera myself. Um, what I like to do when I'm doing the hamstring curls is keep it nice and light. Really focus on pulling from the hamstrings, contracting it almost as if you would when you train in a bicep. Well, not almost as if you would, exactly the same. Really focusing on, get, on getting that squeeze and breaking as many muscle fibers down as we can. So as you can see, the next exercise was another seated leg curl, but this time we were working on the quads. It's again, keeping it nice and light, but focusing on really getting that squeeze and breaking as many muscle fibers down in as quick time as possible. So that was then followed up by another isolation exercise, this time working on the calves, squeezing one, two at the top and controlling on the negative, not just falling. We're having a nice, slow, controlled negative part of the movement, guys. And so that was a quick leg workout for you guys and enjoy the rest of the video. Right guys, back from the gym now. As you can see, I did decide to go with the LSJ Fitness Tea in the end. So what we did was just nip to Tesco, bought some grapes just for some extra carbs, extra sugars. Stop me snacking on something unhealthy, rather than I can just weigh out 100 grams of grapes and it's much more uh, healthy for you. As well as that, bought some sweet potatoes. That is to go with the muscle food sausages, which you're going to see at dinner time. But right now, it is lunchtime. I've worked up an appetite with that great leg session. First one back for a long time and I'm very happy with it. So with that said guys, I'm going to get on and make my lunch. Okay guys, so there is the finished product. What I did differently with the beans this time is that I put 15 grams of, of high protein muscle food cheese in there. I've seen it, uh, if you guys have seen my unboxings, then I more often than not always get uh, some high protein cheese in there. So I put 15 grams, which is one portion size in there, just to make, give the beans a nice cheesy taste and something a little bit different. So I've got one packet of Uncle Ben's rice, one tin of tuna, which is 100 grams once it's been drained, and one big tin of beans. So I'm gonna enjoy this. I'll see you guys in a bit. For dinner we have some muscle food sausages cooking nice and almost ready there. Sprayed on with some one calorie fry light spray, which you've seen in my pancake video and all of my cooking videos, anything like that. So uh, that is done, pretty much done there. I'm gonna put some peas on for a few minutes there. We've got some sweet potatoes in the oven here. Uh, they're finished, so the oven's turned off and ready to, to, um, to just keep them warm. And one tip for if you're cooking sausages, especially I find with these sausages, if you take them off the heat for a little while, and just cover them, helps them cook a little bit quicker, helps them cook a little bit more thoroughly throughout and actually keeps the juices in there a little bit and tastes really nice. I don't know, it always seems to taste a little bit different if I cook it with, with the lid on top. So that is that and I'll show you guys the meal when it's done. Right, okay guys, so here is the finished product. Three muscle food sausages, 200 grams of sweet potatoes and 100 grams of peas. So what I'm gonna do is enjoy this, catch up with you guys in a bit and round off the video then. Okay, how's it going guys? So last night, what I did was just finish the day off with a protein shake. That brought the calories up to 2,231, carbs up to 292, fats up to 37, protein up to 170. So in total, that is a little bit over on carbs, but it's okay because we compensated with uh, having a few less fats. And to be honest guys, that's okay. You don't have to stress every single macro to the gram. It's not gonna happen like that, guys. Unless you eat the same exact foods, you work out an exact meal plan, you're not gonna eat the same exact foods every single day. And what I want to get across to you guys and what I want to show you guys throughout this cut is that you don't have to just eat chicken, broccoli, and rice. You don't just have to have your typical bodybuilding foods. You can eat what you want, eat something slightly different. You don't have to stick exactly to your macros, but as long as you stay consistent with your training, consistent with your diet, and consistent with your positive mental attitude, then you will achieve your goals. You will lose weight, I'm 4.2 pounds down today. Actually, as, as of this morning, I was 4.4 pounds down. So obviously, this is working for me. I'm, I understand that it is water weight and it is coming off quicker, but at the end of the day, weight is weight, and that is a positive mental attitude that you have to have. But going back to not just eating chicken, broccoli, and rice, you don't have to have your typical bodybuilding foods. You can eat whatever, as long as it, it's called flexible dieting. Anyone who's into YouTube has heard of flexible dieting if it, hits your macro, if it fits your macros. Obviously, also a lot of you know, I am a student. And so while on this cut, I am still going 
going to be embracing, still going to be making the most of and still enjoying student life. So all that means is that I'm going to be going out, I'm going to be drinking alcohol, I'm going to be doing fun things that yeah, sometimes I'm going to have a few extra calories in it. So what am I going to do to balance that out? What I'm going to do is do a little bit of extra cardio, save some carbs for the alcohol and have zero calorie mixes with vodka. It's as simple as that guys, I have about 10 white monsters in the fridge which I mix with vodka. All that means is that you have about 10 calories per can of monster and then 50 calories for the shot of vodka. So if you have 5, that's only 250 calories for 5 drinks in total guys. Instead of one beer having about 300-400 calories in it, you've got 5 drinks for the same as one beer. So that would be my quick and simple advice if you're a student and wanting to cut down a little bit. But moving on to sustaining your diet. As I said earlier, you don't want your diet to be too strict because you just get bored of it and you you find that it's just unattainable and you end up dropping off dropping off and dropping off because those people who say oh yeah I'll be really good this week I'll be really good next week I've done two weeks I can do another week then they've done three weeks or maybe four weeks if they're really good and they start to trickle off trickle off trickle off all because they've not even allowed themselves a drink they've not allowed themselves a chocolate bar they've not allowed themselves to fall off the diet well, not necessarily fall off the diet just have a treat because at the end of the day, if you if you follow this, if it fits your macros, if uh, flexible dieting kind of perspective, then you you'll find that you can have the occasional chocolate bar. You'll find that you can have the occasional ice cream cone. You can have whatever you end up wanting as long as you allow it allow for it in your macros within reason, of course. I mean, fair play to those people who can go a month or whatever without having a chocolate bar, but. To me, that's just not sustainable, it's boring, and I just wouldn't want to do it, and so I wouldn't end up doing it. And that wouldn't allow me to stay consistent with my diet, which means that my training would suffer, which means that my gains would suffer, which means that my weight loss would suffer. Everything ties into one, guys, so all you've got to do as the person dieting down is just make sure that your diet is sustainable, make sure it's fun, make sure it's interesting and something that you want to stay consistent and stay, well, stay doing, just carry on with it. So um, that's just my little rant over, I just thought I'd give you guys a few little tips, tell you how I'm going to approach this diet, how maybe you could approach your diet if you're a student or in general just looking to lose, lose a little bit of weight. So um, that is going to round off today's video guys, thanks so much for watching, as always remember, no regrets, and I'll see you guys in the next video.